had 17 dead Chinese last year. Turf war. Try it. Sees where Mia wants to make detective. And in time he will. But there's a risk that he may be tempted. When you deal with organized crime, there's all kinds of money. What's that? 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 When there's no one to trust, trust yourself. That is the key message that Cinema Goers can expect from Cold Harbor. The film tells the tale of Cesare Mio, an ambitious policeman in Kyalicha near Cape Town, who uncovers a smuggling ring while investigating a Chinese mafia murder. Uh, this following the discovery of a mutilated body of a Chinese man after it washed up on a Cape Town beach. The thriller stars famed South African actors Fana Mokwena, Thomas Kumede, uh, Zolani Mohala, as well as the leading man in the role, Tony Horoche, who is in studio with us, as long, along with uh, the uh, producer of the movie, Tendeka Matatu. Good to have both of you. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Wow. Okay, now that is one storyline, if I've ever heard one, that's going to keep us enthralled. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more. I'm going to ask you. Give, give us a bit more of the story. Fantastic. So I, um, I was uh, shooting Jerusalem in 2008, and yeah. uh, uh, a young writer called Kerry McKenzie came and uh, uh, said, I've got the script, I've got the story. Um, it's about abalone poaching, perlamon poaching in Cape Town and how the triad are involved. And uh, it's a story about a police officer who wants to make detective. And uh, as he's uncovering this, uh, this, uh, this crime of the dead body that's washed up on the beach, um, he finds out that uh, he's really alone in the world. And all the people that he thought he could trust uh, yeah. aren't really as trustworthy as they are. So, ah, yes. OK. So it's one of, those, one of those movies where, as we said, trust yourself and no one else. Tony, Absolutely. what was it like for you to play this role? Um, it was wonderful. I mean, it was... Uh, uh, after a long time not playing a lead, being able, being put in the in the seat where now I have to, like start from, again, from the bottom and go to the top with all this, and in time to build the character, develop it up until, the end. Um, it's been a long time, but it was nice as well. It was it was very challenging. Yeah, was yeah. it a, one of your most challenging roles you've done? Um, not quite, but it was interesting. Yeah. Because you know when you're not used to driving big trucks. And then all of a sudden you've been put in the seat of driving a big truck. Yeah. It, you can get there, but it's a bit challenging. But, you know, the truck is moving. Yeah. yeah. Is he being a bit humble over here? He's being very humble. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so you know, um, uh, Tony, Tony and Kerry, the directors, um, met before, they, before, they, before I met them. And um, Kerry really wrote the script with Tony in mind. So there was quite a lot of pressure in that sense. Uh, you yeah. know, it was, it, Tony was always going to be play Cesar Mia um, from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. Tendek, I mean, you've worked on the most amazing productions. I mean, Thank all you. over the world. And of course, Jerusalem yes, yeah. was just such a, it was a hit. Why did you feel you needed to tell the South African story? I mean, I know you saw the script a long time ago, but what grabbed you about it? I think um, it was something new again. Uh, it was, again, the authenticity, the, you know, the richness in the cinematic vision that the director had. Um, and for me, it was telling a crime story, which, are, which you know, you, we see many of them in South Africa, but it's telling it from a completely different viewpoint. It's a genre film. Uh, you know, we're calling back on uh, films like uh, Chinatown. Uh, it's film noir, and that hasn't been done before in South Africa. And we, I found that very interesting. All right, so it's been shown, it's been premiered at the Durban Film Festival. Correct. And that was on, on the 19th, if I'm not uh, It was on Saturday, which was the 19th, so, I exactly, think. Exactly, on um, the 19th. Yeah. And, and what was really the reaction? Oh, look. It was, oh, yeah. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was amazing. I mean, the house was just full to capacity. People were sitting on the stairs. Everybody wanted to watch it. And we had good reviews as well. Um, so it was wonderful, yeah. People yeah. resisted very well. Good. Yeah. And that's what you want. Absolutely. Completely. Yeah. I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was a very humbling experience, actually. Yeah, it you was. You know, to stand up in front of the audience and introduce the film, and literally the cinema was packed. There were people sitting on the floor, there were people sitting on the steps, and Fantastic. there were people outside going, we want tickets. Where do we get tickets? Yeah. Well, we, we hope that this will happen when everybody gets to see it. It's Absolutely. opening on Friday. Yes, it's yeah. Friday, 25th, countrywide, yeah. so yeah. Uh, in all the major cities and the cinemas. Okay. And uh, please come and see it. And... Um, you know, I hope you enjoy the film. We I mean, if, if, if just to give an indication, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap now, I promise yeah. you. Indication, if it does well here, does that mean it, it can be taken out of the borders? That's absolutely right. That's you know, what it's about. Our first and primary audience was the South African audience. This is a film for the South Africans. And, 
you know, if it does well here, if it resonates, we will make the news. Uh, it, people are tracking the film. Good. And uh, it starts selling internationally, hopefully. All right. So let's yeah. make sure you get out there, watch it. starts on Friday. Uh, Tony, thank you for being with us. Congratulations on the role. Uh, Tendeka Matatu is uh, the producer of the movie that's being released on Friday called Cold Harbor. You can catch this incredible crime thriller in cinemas nationwide, as I said, on Friday, 25th of